had I bought this, I have this, I have this. Who asked you? Who asked? You? Who asked? You? Nobody asked me. <laughs> there was one time I had to know where to do a makeup for a lady. The lady was so beautiful, gorgeous. You see her skin popping, everything. Immediately she opened her mouth. Gosh. And so to somebody's mother and father in the comment section. Stop it. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If today is your first time here, welcome. On this channel, we do everything fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and then we talk about career advancement. Do all to like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the classy women do's and don'ts. If you want to be a classy woman, if you want to be categorized as a classy lady or an elegant lady, I'm going to be giving you some do's and don'ts. Yes. So if that interests you, do want to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so a lot of people actually think that being elegant or being classy it's all about being wealthy or it's, about, it's all about being influential or about your family background. Maybe your family is one um, wealthy family or people that have a very, very, you know, big name, then they, you know, they are categorized as being classy. That doesn't really mean that you're classy. That doesn't really mean that you're elegant. Being elegant is your mindset. It's from your mindset. It's from how you portray yourself. It's from how people see you. It's on how you carry yourself, how you present yourself. That is what being elegant and being classy means. You can have all the money in this world and still be raz and still be basic and still be ordinary. Do you understand? So, the first thing I'm going to say about being elegant is about self-respect. Like, how do you respect yourself? Are they, do people just see you everywhere? Do you just go to everywhere? Everywhere they don't invite you, do you go? That means you're not being, you're not classy. They just see you everywhere. You just show up wherever. Even where you're not supposed to be, you go. No self-respect. Like, you, you don't respect yourself. You just talk anyhow. You do things anyhow. Without, without seeing any value in yourself. Without respecting yourself. You don't carry yourself like, oh, I'm, it's not about being proud now. It's about the way you carry yourself as an elegant lady. Let people know that, oh, this lady, ah, she's so full of self-respect. This lady is classy. This lady is elegant. And like I said earlier, it's not about being rich. Or it's not about your family background. It's not about all of those things. It's about self-respect, about how you carry yourself. It's about how people see you. One thing an elegant woman will not do is chase my Like, that's the biggest turn off. Like, you call yourself a classy lady, an elegant woman and then you're pushing someone else's husband like what that is so 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 crazy like sorry for that word but that is what it is you go around breaking people's homes you do all sorts of things things that you're not even proud of things that you don't even want other people to see that you're doing you're not being elegant you're not being classy you're just I'm lost of words. Sincerely, you can consider yourself as an elegant lady if you sleep around for money, if you follow people's husbands, if you break people's homes. Nah, that's not that's not being elegant. There are a lot of single men out there that you can start up a relationship with. I don't even have to start talking about relationship now. That's probably we'll talk about that in another video. But you cannot say you are an elegant woman, you want to carry yourself as a classy lady and then you are chasing married men up and down, you are, you are sleeping around for money, you don't have self-respect, you are not carrying yourself the way you are, you believe if you do not sleep around for money you can't make it, you believe you, if you don't do all of these things you can't excel, you can't be, you know, it's just crazy, it still boils down to self-respect because you do not have self-respect i'm sorry to say 
It's more self-respect. You can't be sleeping around for money. You can't just be doing all sorts of things. And you claim you're an elegant lady. It's not about the looks. Sometimes it's about the looks, but then what do you do in your inner closet? What do you do when people are not there? What do you do when other people are not seeing you? Think about it. You cannot be an elegant lady and then you speak to people anyhow. You just offensive words. You use rude words like before you say one or two things, you're already, you know, insulting. That's not being classy. Mmm. That's not being classy. They know you as somebody that is rude. <laughs> there was one time I had to wear to do a makeup for a lady. The lady was so beautiful, gorgeous. You see her skin popping, everything. Immediately she opened her mouth. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh. She was away. Like she started saying things like offensive words. Offensive. She wasn't talking to me like she was talking to people around her, but I'm like, ooh. You know, the way I pictured her, I pictured her as somebody that is, you know, so beautiful, so elegant, so classy. But the moment she opened her mouth and started talking, Jesus. The kind of words that she was uttering were insane. Abusive words, rude, very, very rude. She was very mean and rude. And I was like, whoa, look at this beautiful lady. That's a very good example of you know, being classy. Not about you being beautiful, you have nice hair, you have nice dress, you have nice skin, this. But the way you talk to people really matters. Treat people with respect. No matter who they are, even if they're your gatekeeper, they're your housekeeper, you have to talk to people anyhow. Even if you're feeding them, it doesn't still give you the guarantee to talk to anybody anyhow. So now let's talk about dress sense. Being elegant, you should know the right outfit for every occasion you're going to. You cannot want to like go to work now and then you're you're wearing armless, sleeveless, like your things that do not even portray you well. You are going to the office now, you're wearing jeans, you're wearing you know. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Probably I'm going to do a series of different sections of everything I've been talking about because I, I I'm just realizing that I have a lot of things to say. Because you see some ladies the way they dress you be like, oh my goodness, where do we even start from? You know, there are different outfits to different different events, to different locations for different functions. You see some people, they go to weddings, the kind of outfit they put on. <sighs> Your dress sense really matters as, a, as an elegant woman, as a classy woman. You can see some a CEO, somebody that, you know, people really respect. I don't want to start mentioning names now, you know. The way they carry themselves, the way they carry themselves, like the oh uh, god. You cannot portray yourself as an elegant lady and you're just basic, you just dress anyhow, you just wear slippers, you just wear you're going, you know. Some people dress really nice, like from air to you just look at their legs and you'll be like, oh my goodness. They're wearing crocs or they're wearing I'm not saying crocs is bad, but some kind of places that they're not supposed to be wearing that kind of thing too. But some people see it as oh, it's not just I'm so comf I'm so comfortable in it and all that. You can be comfortable, but doesn't really speak well. Doesn't really you know present you well. Ask yourself that. An elegant woman will not boast of her achievements. I know it's very good to be outspoken, to put yourself out there, to you know, talk about your achievements and all that. But putting yourself out there, talking about your achievements, is different from you boasting boasting or being proud or you know just presenting yourself in a manner that people people will be like what she feeling like to understand so some people are so used to boasting at every opportunity at every chance they get they just want to like show i'm the managing director of these i'm the blah 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 blah, 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 blah. empty barrel makes the loudest noise mm. yes because you do, why are you boasting? Why are you boasting to? Why are you boasting? 
God has blessed you fine. So why are you being loud? I'm this, I'm that. I bought this, I have this, I have this and that. Who asked you? Who asked you? Who asked you? Nobody asked you. So you have to carry yourself well. You have to be classy. You have to be elegant in everything that you do, in every aspect of your life. There's no point boasting. You don't need to boast. If you are what you think you are, everybody's going to know. You don't have to be the one telling people. People are going to know you for who you are. The works of your hand is going to like speak for you. It's going to like showcase you. It's going to like tell people who you are. You don't have to always be the one to say, I bought this. Ah, last day I bought that. I imported this from this. I traveled to this. I did that. Nobody asked. As an elegant lady, we can't overemphasize the importance of hygiene, your body, your skin. As a lady, th those are very, very important. You can't be talking and then you're having mouth odor. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just be basic like your skin cannot just be looking you know i know that a lot of people have skin issues you know, some people back to with hackneys but what are you doing to, to get it better you know so but what i'm talking about is those people i'm, I'm actually referring to those people that do not care so people don't care i've seen people that do not care some people don't even know what skincare is. They just carry normal soap, normal sponge. They can use all this normal container soap and bait. They use anointing oil and they are going. <laughs> it, it actually works for some people. So people don't even care and the skin is nice. But if you know that your skin is struggling, you should be working towards you know getting it better, making it real, making it you know beautiful. So that when people see you, they're like, hmm, the really, way you smell. Hygiene is very, very important. Like, you take care of yourself. You don't have to wear the most expensive thing for people to say, like, hmm, this lady is so elegant, this lady is so classic. You don't have to wear a uh, designer, this designer. You can just be simple. And elegant. In fact, elegance is being simple. It's not until you carry multi color, you wear green, you wear yellow, color combo, color blocking. No. Just simple, elegant, and classy. And beautiful. Yes, An guy. elegant woman is not lousy and noisy. You meet some people and you be like, gosh, we are the are we in the market? They will be so beautiful, so you know, classy and all. And when they talk, they're so loud. Some people are so loud. You know, I stayed in the hostel while I was in, in school and you know I had the opportunity to meet a lot of people a varieties of ladies a lot of even a lot and lot and lot and lot and then you just see some people they are just too loud you might be in a room here and somebody at the end at the extreme end of the hostel is you can hear the person's voice it's just screaming just it's just too loud and some some people say it's because we are inside it's because we are that's a lie because the same attitude that that same um bad habit is what you're going to take out. You might be on a date and you're shouting. Before you know it, it just it just happens because you're used to doing it. You might be at work. People already know your accent is loud. You might you, you won't take a phone call. Hello, you're only shouting like. <laughs> oh my god! So people are really like that. I've met several people like that, and you be like, what happened? You might be in a public bus, and some people will just be. The way they receive calls, like, this person is so loud. You don't have to be loud for people to hear you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, for that. but that's it. I've seen a lot of a lot of you know, ladies that are so loud, and I'm like, ha! Most you shout. Why are you so loud? Why are you so noisy? You don't want to be that person. You don't have to be loud, lousy before people hear you, before people see you. So people go for conferences and you know they're making noise they will just be making noise you just have things to see you'll just be distracting people in a professional gathering a classy lady a beautiful lady at that huh. that's that's really bad an elegant lady is always prepared she's always prepared she has everything planned out like you have everything figured out you have um calendars you have you have um, journals that you used to write down your events, your activities for the day. You prep yourself, you carry yourself. In your handbags, you already have everything prepared. You, 
in case of emergency you have tampons you have pads you have tissue you have um you have a pen you have a, a notepad not that you go to the bank and then you ask the really easy happen beautiful like you don't make up don't air you have fine dress you're wearing fine shoes yeah this can you borrow me your buyer can you borrow me your pen <laughs> That's like the list of the things you should have in your handbag as an elegant lady. You should have lip gloss, you should have tissue, you should have wipes, you should have tampon, pads, you know, all those basic things. You should be prepared, you should be organized at every point in time. Anything might come up. How do you show yourself? A classy lady shows up on time. You cannot consider yourself being elegant and classy and you say, okay, this meeting is for 8 and you're coming by 10. Why? Why are you doing that? Like why? I don't understand. <laughs> I know if you're in this part of the world, in Lagos, where there's traffic, this and that, you have to program yourself. You have to be elegant all through. You have to be classy all through. Let them know that, oh, if you tell this person to meet us by 10, she's going to meet us by that time. People are going to respect you. you know that every time you say, I'm sorry, it's the traffic. I'm this. You are just being basic. You're just being basic. If you really want to be elegant, you want people to consider you as somebody that is really elegant, somebody that is, you know, classy, somebody that is always on point, then you, you have to always be on time. You have to be, always be on time. Very, very important. Because people are going to see you in that light. People are going to respect you for who you are. You want people to respect you. Respect is end. You can you can't force people to respect you. You have to first of all respect yourself, and then people are going to do the same. So they can't tell you meet us at this or there's an event for this. There's a gathering for this. There's a meeting for this, and you're coming later. Or you're, you're giving excuses. Hmm. An elegant lady knows how to portray herself. She knows how to behave in a social gathering. She knows how to behave at work. She knows how to behave at social events. Know that you go for an event and then you collect food three times. <laughs> oh my god, I'm crossing myself up. You collect food three times, like you're holding food, like you're, hey, you're not giving me, hey, like gosh, who does that? You have to be classy everywhere, like at every point in time. You can't go for an event and then you are, you are, you are rushing for a souvenir and you are shocked. Hey, you do not give me. Hey, you do not do that. You know, you can't be at work and you're walking around. You're just standing up. You're just jumping from one person's office to the other aimlessly. I'm not saying you should not move around in, in case you need to collaborate or you need to ask people questions or you know you have teamwork and all that. Not that you're just walking around aimless, like you don't have anything to do. You're just walking around. Get something to do, sit down, read a book, look for a podcast, listen to, you know, the one that makes sense. So look for things to do. There are a lot of things. You have the internet, there are a lot of free courses, free webinars you can take, a lot of ebooks. You can't just be busy, you can't just you can't be basic, you can't just be there and say you don't have anything to do. You know how you should know how to behave everywhere you go, in meetings, in seminars, in church, everywhere. Let them know that oh, this lady. You know, she she doesn't pass her boundary. She's always on point. You know, you network people when you're supposed to network. You talk when you're supposed to talk. It's not when they are when they're not asking you to talk when you're talking. Talk when they ask you to talk. Listen more than the way you talk. That's one of the attributes of a classy lady. You can't just be in everybody's business. You know, talking about social gathering, I just remembered something about social media. Social media is very important, and you know. It's a place where people can just go to and see everything about you. So what do people see when they come to your socials? Your Instagram, your TikTok, your LinkedIn, your whatever. How do they see you? You can be beautiful and all that, but your socials are seeing something else. Maybe it's all the trends that you, that you jump on. They did silhouette, you went naked. They did the <laughs> silly challenge, you are twerking. They did that one. Like, how do you want people to consider you as an elegant lady? all of these things like i think i'm going to do another episode um that that talks about career because i don't want this video to be too long 
because I see a lot of things online and I'm wondering that where do we even start from? Because you are a young lady that has so much potential and you have a, a lot ahead of you. There are several opportunities ahead of you. Somebody that wants to like engage you or give you a contract, somebody that is willing to collaborate with you, somebody that is willing to work with you and then just come across any of these your videos. Some of you will, ah, oh, you fat. It's, it's, I think it's a story for another. The social media is a different ball game. You cannot be an elegant lady and you're just everywhere. And everything, you chuck mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if you don't understand that. Like you put your mouth in everybody's business. On all the blogs, they know you. You are the number one person. You are the one insulting people. You are the one insulting somebody's mother and father in the comment section. Stop it. The last thing I'm going to be talking about is posture. Like how do you carry yourself? How do you sit? How do you walk? Some people they will be looking so beautiful, so gorgeous. And they don't even know how to sit down in public. They will sit down and hook their legs. They can see everything they are wearing underneath. <sighs> stop it. <laughs> Please stop it. I'm begging you. <laughs> Some people, when they, once you just stand up to walk, they're already dragging their legs. Like you can you will just be hearing the sound of their shoes. Like, fra, 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 fra. Oh my god. And if you are wearing heels, there's nothing and you can hear that classy co, 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 co. Yeah, or something. Once they, maybe they are on flat or on, on a simple kind of shoe, you just hear fra fra. Like you just know nobody's working, and it's not even cute at all. It's not even nice at all. You know when somebody's wearing heels and you're hearing that classic calm calm. Oh my god! You know the way it feels. Like who's who's that gorgeous lady coming? Like it speaks elegance. It speaks class. Not <laughs> the one that sounds fra fra fra. You know, like you're just dragging your legs. <laughs> I'm just sorry. This video is hilarious, but it's just what it is, guys. You cannot. Some people they just half naked. Like I said, I have a lot of things to say, and I don't want this video to be too long. Maybe I'll just break it down into different segments. You cannot just half naked everywhere. Your boobs everywhere. Your every and you call yourself classy. What is that? You're not classy. You're just advertising. God knows where you're advertising. Stop it. So this is where I'm going to end today's video. I'm going to be doing some couple of series and talk about among all of these points separately because there are a lot of things to see. I'm going to be giving you guys advice on how what to do in terms of makeup, how to class, how to um, put yourself, how to present yourself in terms of the makeup, kind of dress you can wear to the different kind of outing, what kind of dress you need to wear to work, your nails, your skincare a lot and lot and lot and lot and lot by the way i filmed this simple makeup i did if you want to be classy if you want to be elegant not all the time that you have to put colors purple red pink yellow green on your face you can do something this subtle and you know, nice you can use lashes even i'm not wearing lashes and it's still very pretty so i'm going to be looking up that video here i don't know which one is going up first either this or that one but i think that one go up first i'm going to put the link somewhere here so you can see how you can get this kind of makeup done in less than 10 15 minutes as an elegant lady you should know how to do your own makeup not not you looking like a masculine so so guys <laughs> thank you for watching this video to the end and i hope you pick one or two things drop a comment down below if you actually learned one or two things and you're looking forward to the rest of the video series i'm going to catch you guys later don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.